In August of 1997, I arrived at college for the first day of preseason soccer training. During the day, I worked hard, but every night, I quietly cried myself to sleep, terrified of what would happen when my teammates found out that I was gay. There has been tremendous progress over the past two decades, but we still live in a world where LGBTQ athletes step out onto the pitch unsure of whether they belong. This evening, I have the incredible honor of presenting an award to a couple who serve as a reminder to LGBTQ athletes everywhere that we have a place on extraordinary teams. <laughs> teams that perform at their best when each of us can be who we are and know that our teammates love, respect, and support us. In 2011, my wife and I watched the World Cup, and while the pinnacle of the tournament may have been Abby Wambach's tying goal in extra time in the dramatic quarterfinal match against Brazil, we were impressed by a defender who scored the winning PK in the shootout that followed. Her name was Allie Krieger. I first met Allie and Ashlyn in 2013, the first season of the National Women's Soccer League. In the six years since, it has been truly inspiring to witness their growth as leaders on and off the pitch, using the platform they have to champion sports inclusion. Because of their relentless determination, personal strength, and compassion, because of their love for their teams, communities, and each other, because of their example, the world is not the same. Equality is a team sport. And on behalf of Athlete Ally, I'm incredibly proud to recognize Ali Krieger and Ashlyn Harris as a part of our team. Hi, everyone. <laughs> thank you, Laura. And thank you to Athlete Ally for this honor. I also want to say how proud I am to be honored along with Colin, Andrea, Terry, and of course, Ashlyn, my future wife. <laughs> Your visibility makes such a huge difference. Thank you for speaking up and using your platforms to make a difference in our community and our world. You're inspiring us all. I became an athlete, athlete ally ambassador four years ago because I believe everyone should be able to play the sport that they love or work in the job that they love without being discriminated against. Sport is such an important part of our lives. Sport brings people together. And I would have been devastated if I ever had to choose between being proud of who I am and playing soccer. No one should ever have to make that choice. We need to cultivate a culture of empathy and kindness. And I think athletes can play a huge role in this by inspiring their teammates and fans, supporters, to do the same. It's important to me that I use my platform, or we use our platform, as, an, as athletes to speak up about issues that matter to us. Throughout my career, and especially on the World Cup stage, I've wanted my fans and world to know who I am and what I stand for. I have an opportunity to speak, not just for myself, but for people who aren't given this platform. It was a no-brainer for me to stand with my friend and teammate, for example, Megan Rapino, when she was called out for not wanting to visit the White House. I can't support an administration that constantly attacks the LGBTQ community and immigrant community. <laughs> I 
and an administration that also stands against equality and inclusion. Those of us who have a public platform have the opportunity to be those leaders. And in the hope that we can inspire athletes at schools and in communities across the country to inspire their family, their friends, and teammates in return. I'm so proud to be one of over 250 Athlete Ally Pro Ambassadors speaking out for the LGBTQ rights in sport and in society as a whole. We can't talk about sports without also talking about homophobia, transphobia, sexism, and racism. These issues follow us through every moment of every day and don't fade once we step on the playing field. I want to thank all of you in this room for fighting every day for the dream of equal pay on the playing field, showing up, fighting the good fight, because together I know we can conquer anything. Thank you. Um, I just wanted to take this moment to um, thank my incredible fiance. Um, thank you. <laughs> for having the courage to live your truth. And I know this has been a very hard journey for both of us and we've grown so much. Um, but we are continuing to pave the way for change. Um, I hope that we inspire you all in this room to keep fighting for what matters to you and keep living your truth. And that's so valuable and you all hold a very special place in this world for so long, I was criticized for being different, for looking different, for acting different, for having tattoos, for acting the way I wanted to act. But different is beautiful. Um, thank you. <laughs> I find that I questioned a lot if I was ever enough. And I stand here before you today, and I tell you we are all enough. We are all enough in this room. We will continue to fight for you, whether you are white, black, Cuban, Asian, trans, gay, LBGTQ, queer, however you identify. We will fight for you every single day. I tell my beautiful fiance every day, if you have a platform, fucking stand for something, man. Stand for something. Yes. And, and truthfully, truthfully, you guys, no one ever created change by staying in their lane. So let's disrupt, let's conquer, let's continue to fight, let's be seen, let's be heard, and let's fucking make a difference, because we deserve that. Continue living your truth. Thank you so much for this award. Thank you. Thank you.